Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over an inventory unit. This trailer is sold. Um, we've been going over a lot of sold trailers recently, but the reason I want to go over this one today is because I got the twin to this trailer showing up here today. So if you guys are looking for a three horse, maybe a three horse with a closet tack, I got the twin to this trailer showing up today. So that's kind of where we're going to go over this one and show you guys an upcoming trailer that we have. Um, it's pretty much going to be a twin to this. There might be a couple differences, but we'll just kind of walk around this trailer and show you guys how it's going to be equipped. Up here at the front, we kind of got your standard, you know, you have your B&W coupler. Um, thing we don't talk about a lot is Cimarron and B&W kind of collabed on this coupler a little bit. They built this coupler to fit the Cimarron trailers. It's a real handy coupler. Um, I like it because most couplers you see nowadays, when you're hooked up, some people like to lock their trailers on or lock their coupler shut when their trailer's parked. The cool thing about this is it gives you the option you can padlock this trailer shut and not have to buy like a gooseneck lock or something like that. You can do it with just your regular padlock, which is really cool. You have your standard, just your breakaway uh, cable for your breakaway brakes and your uh, chains for hooking up as well. Up here underneath the nose, we kind of went a step further on this three horse. So a lot of times we'll do just a standard jack on these. They're not a heavy trailer. They're really easy to get up with the standard jack. We went ahead and on this trailer, I'm not sure what the one coming in set up like, but on this trailer, we do have a hydraulic jack on this trailer. So it's super easy to get this trailer up and down, unhook and hook. I mean, the hydraulics are super fast on these. To do a hydraulic jack, that also means we got to have a battery power on this trailer. So up here in the battery box, we do have an interstate battery along with the battery cutoff switch. The reason we do battery cutoff switch typically on any trailer we put batteries on is because I don't know how many times you come out in the morning after your trailer's set for a week or so and you forgot that there was a light on back in your horse trailer compartment or something like that. And you go to hit this hydraulic button, hook your trailer up, and nothing happens. By putting that battery cut off in there, as soon as you're done unhooking, you can switch that switch and it won't let any power drain out of that battery. So pretty much it kind of eliminates your dead batteries problems you have a lot, a lot of times on trailers. Up here under the nose is that spare tire. Um, you will notice it's not just a donut or a steel wheel. It is a matching aluminum wheel just like the rest of this trailer. That way if you do have a blowout, get a flat tire or something like that, you can pop this spare off here and keep your trailer looking good while you're traveling. We'll come around to the head side of this trailer, or the tail side. Like I said earlier, this is a three horse gooseneck. Um, it's a closet tack setup. It's become a super popular setup we've noticed over this past year. The reason why it's so popular is because it keeps your front tack kind of separate from your, you know, your saddles and stuff like that. A lot of times if you have a front tack setup trailer where your saddles are up front and you're wanting to hang out of here, getting out of the weather, maybe if you have an AC in here and you want to stay in here, a lot of times your saddle blankets and your saddles can be real sweaty, real nasty, and it can get real musty in that trailer. By letting everything isolate in here, we can rubber mat the floor, which makes it a little easier to clean. We have an air vent in the roof, so it helps air out those blankets, and it just kind of keeps everything more organized and separated for those people that like that a little bit. In this closet tack, it is fully carpeted. That way your saddles, if they're falling off going over bumps, your bridles are hanging, shaking while you're traveling, you're not scratching the aluminum up in this trailer at all. It's fully carpeted. These saddle uh, posts, racks, whatever you want to call them, they are fully adjustable. You can see there is a track back here. So you, have, you can pretty much adjust them wherever you want on that wall. Cool thing is, if you're hauling more than three saddles, if you've got a couple horses that saddles fit a little bit different on, you might be taking you know, five, six saddles. You can always get more of these posts and just slide them in at the top, lock them in. And, you know, I mean, you can get six saddle racks on this trailer. It's easy. In the corner of this closet tack, we do have your 25-gallon water tank. Cool thing about this water tank is, is it's got a hose spigot here on the bottom. We throw a hose in for you guys right here. Um, but you can run the hose right to that spigot underneath the doors. And if you got a horse tied right here, you can water and feed that horse just right out of this trailer. Super easy. You're not going to a hydrant trying to find water, pulling over to a gas station asking if they have drinkable water for your horses. Saddle blanket wall of this trailer, again, it is fully carpeted, keeping your saddle blankets from rubbing, getting sweaty, getting moisture all over that aluminum, that painted aluminum in here. Um, it is a four tier swing out, so it's on a gas piston. It's super tight, keeps your blankets up against this wall. But again, it kind of is more stationary. That way if you have something running into it, it's not banging around. It kind of is stiff enough to hold itself. Underneath that, we do have just kind of, you know, your Cimarron brush box. Um, you can put sprays in here, brushes, anything like that. There's some Cimarron literature in there. Um, I think brush boxes are super handy. This kind of helps keep your sprays from rolling around, your brushes. If you ever been in a trailer that doesn't have some type of door organization aside from your 
you know, your main compartment there. You're going to notice that a lot of that stuff gets shoved underneath your saddles. It's hard to find your, you know, your brushes, your sprays. It's hard to find your splint boots, your bell boots, and stuff like that because it's all just thrown in a bucket or something underneath your saddles. So by having this on a trailer, I think it's a super cool way to keep your stuff organized and kind of keep this trailer looking flashy. We'll move back up in the front tack here. By doing a closet tack on this trailer, it kind of does shrink this front tack room up a little bit. But again, that's just because you don't have saddles in here. You don't really necessarily need a bigger front tack. Um, it is carpeted just kind of like that tack setup is, but you'll notice our walls aren't carpeted. It is just the lined and insulated aluminum. Um, here in this corner, kind of situated behind where this closet tack setup is, you do have your lip shell, so you can put hats up here, anything like that, and they will not roll off going down the road. Underneath that, we do just have your normal tiered, uh, what you call it, that clothes rod. You can hang, you know, shirts, coats, jackets, anything like that. I just want to point out it is long enough, too, that you can hang ponchos in here, you can hang drags in here, anything like that, and it'll work just fine. Back up to our gooseneck side. It is a fully carpeted gooseneck deck. The reason we do that is because you're probably going to be keeping some stuff up here. If you're not staying in here, if you are staying in here, you can throw a mattress up here super easy and sleep in here, open those windows and get nice airflow. Another thing I want to point out, what we do on all our Cimarron trailers coming from the shops nowadays is we do this roof pre-frame for an AC. By doing that, that allows it to get here. It doesn't necessarily have an AC on it now, but it's framed for one. So if you get here and say, I want an AC in here, it's really easy and really inexpensive for our shops to put an AC on this roof. They're not reframing your roof at all. It's just ready to go. Down low, again, fully carpeted, kind of like your drop wall. It's a little more storage compartments. Um, you're losing a little bit of your front tack storage by doing that closet tack. So we kind of gave you guys a little boot box here to, again, store some of your stuff that you're not going to be keeping in your tack room. If you got boots in here that you're going to be wearing, spurs, coats, jackets, maybe some clothes you're, while you're traveling, you can keep them in this boot box and keep them clean and kind of out of the weather and out of the way. That way you're not stepping over them. They're in this boot box. It also does give you a nice little step up here onto your deck. And we do kind of have some more space in case you run out of bridle space in there, or again, you want to hang some hats and more clothes like that. We do have two sets of bridle hooks, clothes hooks, hats hooks, whatever you guys want to use them for. And again, it is fully carpeted behind there in case anything you do have hanging has some sharp edges, you're not scratching up this painted aluminum. If you look above the door right here, there is an upgraded OptiBright system on this trailer. So all your lighting on this trailer has been upgraded to these new OptiBright lights. They're super bright. Um, and again, they're LEDs. They're not going to use a whole lot of power. And I mean, you can tell just how much light they put off by turning them on and off. So as we walk around this trailer, you guys will notice all the lights have been upgraded on this trailer. We put some extra awning lights on the outside as well to help you guys saddle. One of those awning lights I just mentioned splits the doors here on this tail side. So again, if you're jumping up in there to take a, take a nap, anything like that, get stuff out of that front tack, or if you're saddling right here, you're gonna have that 16 inch awning light to give you guys some light to pull stuff out of both of these rooms. Here, working our way down the tail side, we do have just your standard Cimarron bus windows on the tail. They are a sliding type window. They are extra large, I think, compared to most sliding type bus windows. So they're gonna give your horse, horses just a whole lot of airflow. Below there, we do have your three tie rings. That way, if you're tying, like I talked earlier on this trailer, you can have a horse tied here, feed and water, and all your stuff's right there ready to access. Your blankets are right here. I mean, it just makes that simple of setup to be able to pull your blankets off right here, throw them on your horse and saddle. Super cool closet tack setup. We can run it off either side, too. If you guys have a setup that you like, that if you want to saddle off for some reason your head side, we can swap all this and flip it and make it to where all your saddles are on that side. Kind of whatever you want to do. Cimarron's really good about being good for the customer. We're going our way around to their load side here. You will notice it is a 60-40, just double door setup with no closet tack on here. Or not a closet tack, but no rear tack. We opted out for a rear tack on this trailer because a lot of times when you do a rear tack, you have to have that uh, removable post there in your closet tack. And it's kind of hard when you have a closet tack to be able to get that removable post in there. So we kind of opted out for that. Uh, folding rear tack back here, but that is something we can add after the fact. Just got to order a little more parts for you guys, but we definitely can do it. Here on your load side, we do have a butt strap, not a butt bar, not a butt chain. 
The reason we do a butt strap, as you can tell, this is a 6'10 wide trailer. So if you were to have a six foot metal bar across here and try to get that out of the way of your horses, it's not gonna fall out of the way super easy. So by doing this strap, it just allows you to unhook it. It lets it fall and that way your horse isn't backing over it, getting you in trouble, getting your horse in trouble. You can't really get your horse hurt with this butt strap. Before I jump into this trailer, we talk about the floor all the time on Cimarron trailers. This floor in this trailer, it is probably the best floor you can buy on the market today. Cimarron builds their aluminum floors on four inch centers. So no matter where your horse is standing on this floor, it is standing over support beam. This is by far the strongest floor for your horse that you can buy today. On top of that, they rubber mat it, kind of keeps that floor clean. Makes it super easy to spray this trailer out and pull mats, especially because these mats are all square. They don't have nothing to go around. If you wanted to go a step further and make this probably the best flooring combo, you can always order your trailer with a worm flooring or we can do that for you guys once that trailer gets here. Up inside this trailer, one thing I want to point out is, I know we talk about how insulation cools this trailer a lot in the summers and warms it in the winters and kind of keeps that more timber for your horses. Immediately, if you come look at one of these trailers, the first thing you'll notice is if you jump from the outside like I just did, I noticed it's probably about 10, 15 degrees cooler in here this morning. So it's going to keep your horses cooler while you're traveling on those warmer days. Again, we just kind of went for your standard Cimarron dividers in this three horse. I don't know how that one's coming. The reason we're videoing this one again is because I have a twin to this one showing up here today. So if you're interested in this one, we got another one just like it coming. Um, in this trailer, we just have your standard stud divider up here at the front. The thing we do on these stud dividers is a lot of the times now we'll leave them with this about a four inch gap right here. That way if you do want to run shavings in this trailer, you still have that ability to do so. And then that way if you have shavings on the ground and this thing needs to travel to get some horses out, get horses in, you're not dragging shavings back and forth and building mounds. It makes it a little easier for you guys. Roof in this Cimarron trailer, again, it is insulated. It's gonna keep it cooler, keep it warmer. But another thing I wanna point out is you'll notice it is slightly bowed as well. The reason we slightly bow these trailers is because a lot of time, you know, Colorado, we get lots of moisture. Um, everywhere pretty much gets some moisture. It's not gonna let that water, that snow, whatever's pooling up there, it's not gonna let that sit. By bowing it, it's gonna let that water, that moisture run off. It's gonna not eat up your seals. You're not gonna have to get this roof resealed as often. And again, it's just gonna help add to the longevity of this trailer. If you have a whole bunch of snow adding weight to this trailer, eventually that weight's gonna bear some, you know, uh, weight up there and get stuff out of whack. By bowing it, it just allows that water to run off, the weight to run off, and just, again, keep this trailer looking nice and keeping you guys from having less maintenance going down the road. For typical trailers, you're gonna probably have to reseal the roof after five to six years, them seals where all the welds are on this trailer is gonna wear away because the water does sit up there. These Cimarron roofs, you're not gonna have to worry about for eight to 10 years just because they use a special joint compound for their sealant and because of the bow up there. You will notice there are air vents in all three of your stalls right here. Um, they're two-way air vents, so they kind of work one of two ways. You can either pull air in or pull air out. So a lot of times you'll set your trailer up, these first two or the first one will be pulling fresh air in, and the back two will pull that air out. That way you're getting consistent cool air flowing over the backs of your horses and keeping them dry and keeping them comfortable. Another thing I want to point out is pretty much anywhere a horse can touch in this trailer is you're going to see this black kick mat. So if you have a horse that likes to kick, maybe a horse that likes to paw on the front end, there is this extra tall black kick mat around here. It's going to protect this aluminum on this trailer. It's going to protect your support beam and keep it looking nice. The cool thing about it is if you get a horse that kicks or paws really bad, it might eat away at this rubber a little bit, but this rubber is a whole lot easier to fix and seal back up than it would be a trailer where they're kicking it straight metal. So again, just keeping this trailer looking nice and fancy for you guys. You guys are making a big investment traveling, big investment to take your horses to do what you do, um, what you love to do, whether it be showing, trail riding, rodeo, or anything like that. You're making a big investment to do that. So we just want to help protect your guys' investment. You guys are spending a lot of money to do this. Um, just want to make sure you guys, you know, or spending money on something that's gonna last you guys a long, long time, not just something that's gonna last a couple years. Up here in the front of this trailer, you will have your chest bar. Again, this trailer is equipped with an escape door. It's a really nice setup to have an escape door with a stud stall. Because as you can see, you have a lot of room to store stuff up there, whether it be hay, generator, grain, stuff like that. But we do have tie rings up there on that uh, chest bar. The reason we do tie rings is because this trailer doesn't have mangers. It's only a 610 wide trailer, but we can do some Cimarron feed bags, some rubber feed bags for you guys. Every stall will have these three tie rings where you can do, you know, your triangles type feed bag there in the front. They're real nice, big, deep feed bags. So if that's something you want to be able to feed your horses while you're traveling, grain your horses while you're traveling, 
we can always throw those feet bags in here. They're really easy to get in here. Last thing I want to point out is the latch system in here. I talk about it pretty much every time I do a Cimarron trailer. Because the main concern we have is people come in here and they go, man, that's a plastic latch. That's not very strong. We have never had issues with these latches. They're super easy to use. Um, and a lot of things people don't really think about is plastic on metal is going to wear a whole lot differently than metal on metal would. Over time, if this was a metal latch and not plastic, that metal is going to grind and wear and chip away at each other. Eventually, where this isn't going to latch anymore. By doing the plastic, it keeps it a lot quieter for your horses. I mean, I'm jerking on it, can't hardly make any noise. Um, it's going to keep it quieter for your horses, but more often than not, this is going to last to where you're never going to have to replace it, and you're never even going to have to worry about it. That metal on rubber doesn't wear hardly at all. And again, I talked about kind of that OptiBright system in the front tack room. It is upgraded back here as well. All the way around this trailer is going to have that upgraded lighting. Up above, we do just have, you know, your brake lights, your turn signals, but we do have a six inch low light right here. Flick a switch and it's going to give you some light while you're loading your horses. That way you can see what you're doing. Maybe your horses can see where they're jumping in at. Again, just trying to keep you guys safe and keep your horses safe. Coming around the head side of this trailer, you do have those big, flashy Cimarron drop downs. It really makes this trailer pop. I don't know what it is, but I love looking at a Cimarron trailer just sitting there. They look really slick with their big drop downs, their extruded aluminum frames. They're just a really slick looking trailer. I'm going to talk a little about those feed bags inside. These bigger, big Cimarron windows are really nice because they do allow so much airflow to keep your horses cool. They also do have the option to run them as a sliding type window, kind of like we do on the tail side. That way you can control the temperature for your horses a little bit better. The thing I like is they're pretty big, they're pretty strong, but then again, they operate smoothly enough that you could do it one-handed. You can travel with them down like this if you did want to keep that airflow for your horses. They're made to do so. The thing I like about them is on this 6-10 wide trailer, you have a little bit of a rail to stand on. So your horses are going to be tied in there. If you get to where you're going and you got an antsy horse that likes to run over the top of you as soon as you get there and open that back door, it's really easy to be able to stand up on this rail, drop this window. You can untie your horses from these tie rings right here, open the door, and they can just back out. And you don't have to worry about them being tied in there, pulling back, coming over the top of you, anything like that. It's real easy to be able to use. You will notice above that window, we do have another 16-inch low light. That way, if you're tied right here, again, you want to saddle on this side. You have some horses tied out while you're sleeping or something like that. That's going to give you plenty of light to do what you need to do for your horses right here, whether that be putting boots on, water and feeding, getting ready for a trail ride early in the morning, something like that. You're going to have enough light all the way around this trailer to do so. Again, I showed you guys that escape door from the inside. This is kind of what it looks like from the outside. The thing you'll notice now is I shut that stud divider on my way out. It kind of gives yourself your own little room in here. That way if you do have two horses loaded on the back and you need to get to something while you're traveling, whether that be a tote full of clothes, grain, hay, anything like that, you're going to be able to keep your horses loaded, pull over on the side of the road, and get to whatever you have stored right here. Again, it also works as a bit of a mud room too. If you're not wanting to get you know, dirty clothes and stuff in your front room, you can always come back here, throw your clothes in here, maybe hose yourself off with a bucket or something like that, and that way you're keeping your front area dry and clean. Cool thing I like about the escape door on these Cimarron's though is we took it a step further and you, have, you even have a little drop window here on this escape door. Cool thing I like about that is normally you'll see a little bus window or maybe not even a window at all in that escape door. I like that they went a step further and they threw even a little, you know, drop down window kind of matches their big windows. It looks cool, but it also, again, it gives that ability to get that front horse in here a lot more air than he typically would get. It's got the same little sliding type right here, so you can't control that airflow for that front horse as well. I just think these Cimarron windows are top notch windows and they look really cool while you're traveling as well. So again, this is a sold unit trailer. It's a really, really cool setup. It's a really, I mean, efficient setup. You can kind of do whatever you want, whether it be just a run around three horse. You can throw an AC on this and travel the rodeos over the weekend. If you're going to a trail ride, you have the ability to store water in that closet tack. Again, this one is sold. I do have a twin showing up to it today. So if you're interested in that one showing up, give us a call and reference this stock number and we'll know exactly which one you're talking about. The stock number for this trailer is 5N. 201301. Again, it's a 21 Cimarron North Star three horse gooseneck. That one showing up is going to be a 22, but it's pretty much going to be the same trailer. 
So if you're interested in this trailer, that one maybe we have showing up or some other ones we have coming, go ahead and give me a call here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Phone number is 303-684-3409. Again, my name is Tanner. Thanks for tuning in.